Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Randy Rifle of Chesapeake Gold. How are you today, Randy? I'm great, Tracy. Randy, I'm so excited to have you here because uh, you are one of a handful of companies with one of the largest gold, silver, and zinc properties in the world. Like, what, is there four or five of you in the world? And can you give us an overview? Yeah, that's, uh, I would say there's about a half a dozen uh, big uh, uh, world-class projects uh, like Metates. And Metates has uh, proven and probable reserves of um, over 18 million ounces of gold. Uh, 500 million ounces of silver and 4.2 uh, billion pounds of zinc. So world class by any measure. Okay, and with this world class uh, property, uh, in 2013 you did a, an NI43101. Can you tell me why we're doing another pre-feasibility study? Well, big, big projects uh, that become big mines uh, have a big capital cost. And uh, so, and most of these big projects uh, are located in remote locations and uh, uh, don't have little or, or no infrastructure. So to achieve any kind of positive economics, uh, you have to build them to full design. Uh, in the case of Metates, uh, this study will show that you can economically uh, build Metates small and, and grow big. And of course, uh, for all of you out in Investor Intel uh, audience, uh, Randy, you might be one of my very, my most likable clients. I, every shareholder I speak to are like, Randy's made us money in the past. We're staying with Randy. We're holding on Chesapeake Gold. Uh, uh, we're in with Randy, you know, right to the end. Can you tell me a little bit more about your team? Because I think you've taken the same ex uh, exploration team with you to Matadi's. I have the same team that was with me in Francisco Gold. And Francisco Gold discovered two uh, uh, world-class mines, El Sasol and Marlin. So I have that core team with me in uh, Chesapeake. And uh, it's wonderful to have them still and loyal and, and want to make our shareholders money. And of course, you use them to sell previous exploration plays. Yes. Yeah. Well, we sold Francisco Gold in 2002, and uh, it was a result of their discovery and hard work that uh, we had that reward. And is this your plan uh, for Chesapeake Gold? Are you planning on selling it? That's exactly right. We're de risking Metates to a point where we think. Uh, uh, it will become uh, an attractive uh, acquisition for an M&A or for a strategic uh, partner. I, I saw you in a presentation and you were talking about scaling uh, the mine from smaller to larger. Could you uh, explain this to some of us that may not understand what that actually means? Okay, so in the original study we were looking at initially a 60,000 ton per day starting position and growing to 120,000 tons per day. Uh, in the new study we're looking at 30,000 tons per day and growing to about uh, uh, 90,000 tons per day. So uh, lower capex uh, and something just a little more, uh, I think, uh, positive for given our capital markets today. And of course, you discussed how you were going to add uh, value to the uh, premium value to Matadis. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, I think we're looking at uh, you know, exploring some regional opportunities around Matates. We haven't done that. We've been totally focused on uh, advancing Matates uh, through now two pre-feasibility studies. Um, these geologists that were very successful with me in Francisco are, uh, have identified targets uh, around the Matates and we're quickly advancing them to uh, a drill stage. And you have, you've got money in the bank. I mean, there's a lot of exploration companies that have run out of money. You have money in the bank and you're not planning on diluting uh, shareholders. You've only had one raise. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I think 44 million shares outstanding. <laughs> Yeah, since 2002, we've only done one public raise. We've raised $15 million. Uh, we did get other capital through some acquisitions uh, 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 earlier on in, in 2006. But uh, yes, so we don't have to raise any more capital. We've got $25 million uh, in the Treasury, no debt. Uh, our burn rate this year has been around uh, four to 500000 a month, and we expect that to be half of that in 2016. Um, I also, you know, was thinking when you were presenting yesterday about uh, where you're located and some of the competitive advantages, the economic advantages of Metadis. Could you just tell or share with our audience what I heard yesterday? Yeah, well, there's there's a couple things. I think first off, um, you know, you look at Metadis itself. Uh, the ore body uh, sticks out of the ground, outcrops over 300 meters vertically, uh, and is mineralized pretty much from uh, surface to depth. Uh, so you have a very low stripping ratio, which means a lower mining cost. 
Uh, the project's uh, best grade is uh, near surface, represents about the first third of the project's active uh, uh, mine life. So if you have your best grade and your lowest costs up front, this is what uh, helps you have a faster uh, payback of capital and a higher internal rate of return. Um, on the capital side, uh, our proposed uh, pr uh, process site is uh, within 50 kilometers of a paved highway, uh, railroad, power grid and natural gas pipeline, that's a huge benefit and capital advantage to Matatis. Okay, I, I, love, I love it. So just tell us what we as shareholders should anticipate, say, in the next couple of quarters. Um, well, of course, first will be the uh, updated pre-feasibility will come out here in, uh, in the fourth quarter, and I think that's a very positive event and for uh, the future development uh, of Matates. And then, uh, as we just discussed, we've been doing some very aggressive uh, regional exploration around Matates, and I think these targets, uh, uh, some are district scale potential, and we'll get them to a drill stage. I think uh, that organic uh, pipeline development uh, will be uh, newsworthy in the coming months. Well, Randy, thank you so much for updating us today. Pleasure's mine, Tracy.